measurement of the conductivity of ionic solution. Measurement of an unknown resistance can be performed on a Wheatstone bridge. However, for measuring the resistance of an ionic solution, we face two problems. Firstly, passing direct current, that is DC, changes the composition of the solution. This difficulty is resolved by using an AC source of power. Secondly, a solution cannot be connected to the bridge like a metallic wire or other solid conductor. This problem is solved by using a specially designed vessel called conductivity cell. Two different types of conductivity cell. This conductivity cell shown in the above diagram consists of two platinum electrodes coated with platinum black that is finely divided metallic platinum is deposited on the electrodes electrochemically. The resistance of such a column of solution is then given by the equation R is equals to rho L by A which is equals to L by kappa A where L is separation between electrode and A is area of cross section. The quantity L by A is called cell constant denoted by the symbol G. The cell constant is usually determined by measuring the resistance of the cell containing a solution whose conductivity is already known where G is equals to L by A equals to R multiplied by kappa. Now we will learn how setup for the measurement of the resistance works. Once the cell constant is determined, we can use it for measuring the resistance or conductivity of any solution. The setup for the measurement of the resistance is shown in the given diagram, which is a setup for the Wheatstone bridge circuit. It consists of two resistances R3 and R4, a variable resistance R1 and the conductivity cell having the unknown resistance R2. The Wheatstone bridge is fed by an oscillator O, which is a source of AC power in the audio frequency range of 550 to 5000 cycles per second, where P is a suitable detector. The bridge is balanced when no current passes through the detector. In physics, from current electricity, we know that when the bridge is balanced, no current flows through the conductor, that is R2 upon R4 equals to R1 upon R3. On simplifying, we get R2 equals to R1 R4 upon R3. Once the cell constant and the resistance of the solution in the cell is determined, the conductivity of the solution is given by the equation K equals to cell constant upon R which is equals to G upon R. The conductivity of solutions of different electrolytes in the same solvent and at a given temperature differs due to charge and size of the ions in which they dissociate. The concentration of ions or ease with which the ions move under a potential gradient. It therefore becomes necessary to define a physically more meaningful quantity called molar conductivity denoted by the symbol lambda m. It is related to the conductivity of the solution by the equation molar conductivity equals to lambda m equals to k by c.